100 metres, 22 years of age. So no reigning champion, Daniel Martins, who failed to qualify from his heat. He was also the three-time world champion. But there is loads of class. T20 intellectual impairment category. One lap to see who becomes the Paralympic champion of Tokyo 2020. Colorado Mina in nine, Carcelin Delgado in eight, Guaco in seven, Rodriguez Bolivar in six, Rodriguez Ramirez in five, Blango in four, Craig Basso in three, and Dieng in lane two. And away they go, and it is Blango who gets away to a very good start, and also out four in from the far side is Rodriguez Bolivar, the bronze medalist from the World Championships a couple of years ago. He's looking very strong indeed on that far side. They've got around 220 metres left to go, and sitting back, three back from the end is Coloma Blango on the right of your screen, but looking really good indeed. Rodriguez Bolivar of... Venezuela, he's looking very strong as they round up and it's going to be a race in five at the moment. It's Rodriguez Bolivar who has it and Spain's Delibert, Rodriguez Ramirez on the inside but looking really strong down the outside. It's Kuaku. Kuaku looks like he's going to get it in France. Kuaku there, yes he gets it. 47.63. Kuaku goes across and takes it in first place. Well that was a fantastic finish from the Frenchman. Charles Anton Kuaku, he was fifth in 2019. He won silver in Bidigos just recently. He takes the gold medal at the Paralympic Games. I think Rodriguez Bolivar might have picked up the silver and Columba Blanco has got the bronze medal. So it's France with a new European record of 47.63 who take the gold medal. Venezuela in second place and Great Britain in third. It was a wonderful effort. There were around five in the running for it with about 120 metres to go. They rounded up. It was Rodriguez Bolivar who looked like he had the running of it. But in the end, it was that man in the T20 category over 400 metres. Charles Antoine Kwaku with a new European record becomes the Paralympic champion at Tokyo 2020, 47.63 for a lifetime best for him. Well, can you believe that every single athlete, all eight of them, ran a personal best or a season, sorry, or a season's best. There was one season's best. Just incredible. It shows how fast this track is and what a well-paced event by Kwaku. We didn't really notice him until the final straight. And the other two, Rodriguez and Blango. Blango coming through at the end, but just leaving it a little bit too late. Rodriguez Bolivar with a gutsy performance, able to hang in there for the silver. And Charles Antoine Quaco just all about the timing. Well, there was less than a second and a half separating all these athletes. Quite incredible. Could have thrown a blanket over all of them, but Charles Antoine Quaco. Blango of Great Britain on the inside there. Looked like he'd timed his run perfectly, but if anything, maybe he left it a little bit too late. Another five metres and perhaps he may have got there, but it's France who take it through Charles Antoine Kwaku with a new European record of 47.63. Luis Felipe Rodriguez Bolivar of Venezuela. Lifetime best for him, 47.71. And Columba Blango of Great Britain picks up the bronze medal. Just have a look at that across the board. Lifetime best everywhere. Incredible.